Hello and welcome to Motors for the Masses and today we're doing something a little bit different so let's get down in the dirt and crack on. Roll the intro! something, as Malcolm said, a little bit different, and it is this, a Stop Z2 140. It's got plenty of poke, however, it's not running very well, and it's not quite what we want. So it's modification time! Well, that can go for a start. I have the solution, a new cap. So we'll just put that little clip on there, thusly. That shoved in there, also thusly, and then that there. Problem solved. Next. Right, let's demonstrate just how awesome this suspension is. Yes, because it is pretty awesome. Looks fine as it is. <laughs> yes. It's not bent in the car, Have a seat. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Look at that, look. Oh, it's like one of them toy things in the playground. <laughs> have you ridden it like this? Uh, not bouncing it, I have ridden it. Oh. However, Hilarious. this has yeah. a broken sh uh, shock. I was going to say strut. Shock. Damper. Yes. So, whoop, I don't go down as far. There's a reason for that, isn't there, Malcolm? Yeah, I'm heavier. Yes. Yes. Now, the maximum weight on this 140 is around 15 and a half stone. And we are almost 15 and a half stone. I'm, I'm almost a bit more than yeah, <laughs> Just a little bit the wrong side of it. He's about 17 and I'm about 16. Uh, yeah, something, I'm, I'm yeah. less than that, about 16 and a half or something. All right. So, what we're going to do is replace that shock. So let's do that first. Um, no stand. Hang on, are you ready? Ready? Ah! No, nope. doesn't work. So the shock setup on this is a mono shock and it's 320 millimeters long. Now the Z3140 is actually only 280 or 290 millimeters long, so it's slightly longer than that. What did I say? 360? Yeah, I think I said 360. If I didn't, I apologize. If I did, it's 360. Right. Ta-da! New one. So that will go in place of that on there, that way around. So let's get that on now. That actually looks a lot better. It's shorter. It does look shorter. But apparently it is a 360. It better be. Let's measure it. Mm, take measure, please. Yeah. Eye to eye is 280. What's the other one? 360. That's supposed to be a three. Let's set us the wrong bloody shot. Yeah, that's a 360. Oh my god. What did you want? A longer one? A 360. And this isn't a 360. This is a 280. Is it fully extended? Well, I don't it know. Be, it yeah, it's got a spring in it, it must be. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, why are right. you doing that then? Thoroughly annoyed. Unless you put this one in. Well, is it going to be alright with the other item that we're doing? I don't know. I mean, look how thick that spring is in comparison. Yeah. See, quite a bit thicker on that one than it is on this one. Yeah. Apparently, there's a truck reversing. It's probably that forklift. I spend more time going backwards on that thing than do forwards. Clearly. Right. We have been billed for a 360 millimeter shock. We have received a 280 millimeter shock. We're not happy. However. We can still do the other things, and then we will see just how bouncy it is and how much fun it is riding over pallets and stuff. <laughs> okay, now when I bought this bike, I bought it with the intention of doing it up and using it for ourselves. However, we did notice the brakes didn't work, and I was told when I bought it, the brakes don't work, and we found the reason why. Tell them why, Malcolm. Well, yeah, Jane had a look at the front brake, didn't he? And, yes. Uh, and discovered that it was, in fact, full of water. Yes, instead of putting brake fluid in the brake fluid reservoir, they put water 
in it. So we suspect it's the same on the back. So let's open it up and find out. However, right, we do have front brake now because uh, Jamie cleaned out the um, reservoir and pumped it all out and water came squirting out. In fact, here is a picture of it squirting out now. See what I mean? So let's have a look in the back and see if it's the same. We appear to have an, oh, hello, an Allen key that fits what do we suppose is inside. It's either going to be At this point, please put a comment in the comment section below as to see if you can guess what's inside. Nothing or water? Because I'm certain there's no brake fluid in it. Yeah. And the answer is... Water. Water. Genius. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's not brake fluid, there's no way, that was too clear. Look at it on the floor, look. Yeah, but that's how, water. Look how slimy it is. Well, yeah, it probably had brake fluid in it. No, that's brake fluid. It might have had some water in there. The bit on there was water. There was water in with it. But that's so they've topped it up with water? Possibly. So look, look on there, look. I'm going to bring you in for a closer look. Look down there. That is not brake fluid. As are the drips on the floor. Look. Water, that's water, 100% water, H2O. What do you reckon, Matt? I reckon it's dot four H2O. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Now to clear out. Oh, there goes all the water. Is it though? Well, it's not brake fluid. Look how. Yeah, but... I don't know. There's not even a tinge of yellow to it. No, but it doesn't feel like water either. No, but like I said, because it used to have brake fluid in, now it's mixed with the water, and the water's got a bit oily. Yeah. Well, the brake fluid does absorb moisture, doesn't it? So it absorbs in as hygroscopic or hydroscopic. Hygro, I think it's hygroscopic. I don't know. Move on. Yeah. But it worked. Anyway, some squirted out. Should have a hose on this, really, but... At least it works. I'm going to go and get a hose. Malcolm, yes. I have juice. Uh, you got juice on your arm. <laughs> I've got arm, arm juice. No, break juice on my arm. Break cheers. Yeah, I'm wiping with the tissue. <laughs> I'm wiping the tissue, it's all stuck together, don't they? That's because I've already wiped my hands with it. <laughs> <laughs> break juice. Jeez, break jizz. Break jizz. <laughs> <laughs> You're disgusting. You started it. Uh, turns out it's crap, so uh, we're just going to suck all the fluid out of it, and whether that's water or brake fluid, whatever, we're just going to suck it out. Well, that's the plan anyway, so let's give it a whirl. Nothing. Is it actually sucking anything? No. Right, so we've taken this rubbish thing off, which uh, is broken, and stolen Malcolm's. Hello. Uh, it's not brilliant. Hang on, I need a bit more effort. Oh, God. <laughs> that was not a good one. Yeah. Luckily, my hay fever won't allow me to smell it. There you go. Uh, right. Move on. Right, so that back wheel is coming off. Uh, one, we have to make sure the caliper is free nicely, and we have to replace that wheel with this one. Yes, we're going bigger. Now, what we need is a screwdriver to hit it through from the other side, and a hammer. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, the chain was rusty, so we had to lube it up just to make sure it ran all right. Okay, so that is out. It's a bit rusty. Sliders are free. The pads will move, but will the piston. So, Malcolm, explain to the ladies and gents what you are doing. Taking the pads out of the caliper so that we can push the piston back in, in the hope that it will free off. Just like we did with the um, project bob. Yeah. That seems a little bit stuck. That's free. Sli yeah, slider's all right. It's a bit crusty. Yeah, it's a lot rust, of rust and crap right there. But that said, if I wipe it off a little, oh, yeah. not too bad. It's quite clean inside, isn't it? It does, doesn't it? Aha! So the caliper works. Yeah. Now, in this instance, you could put a new chain and sprockets on. However, we're not going to because we want to make sure it runs all right and that it goes over stuff all right before we start making those kind of modifications. Hmm. Therefore, we need the disc off and we need the sprocket off. The old wheel. So the old wheel is a 12 inch wheel with an 80 by 100 by 12 tyre and the new wheel is a 17 inch. That's the front. Why have I got that? I don't know. <laughs> Would you mind passing me the other wheel? I, guess. I didn't think that looked right. No, I did think it looked rather large. So the new wheel is a 14 inch wheel. That's better. That one has a 90 by 100 by 14 tyre, so slightly wider, not too wide, otherwise it wouldn't fit in. So what we'll do is transfer the disc and the sprocket onto this bike. Oh shit, now that's tight. Make sure it's in. Uh, it is in. I was twisting out the end. Yeah, I know. Right, well that isn't moving with an Allen key, so I'm going to go over and get the ratchet and see if I can do it over the other side and undo these, because they are pretty well on there. Back in a minute. Right, it's off, so that wheel can go. And, as a Brucey bonus, it works as well, yeah? Oh, bled brakes and everything. Yeah, right, it's a and everything. Hello. What is this? Is that the right side? Yeah. Cool. Don't double doubt me. Double, double doubt? doubt. <laughs> yeah, slug doubt, but double. Yes, it is. Right. Is the disc right going? Yeah. Yes. We've also undone the sprocket. So all we've got to do is take that off, put it on here, and then we'll get it on the bike. Yay. So these come with uh, retaining clips. So you have to make sure you put these retaining clips on, like so. Also known as lock tabs. And then stroke retaining clips. Yeah. <laughs> Stop being facetious. It was at this point Malcolm realized the caliper's not back together. Yeah, might be going official to have it like assembled as soon as you need it to put the wheel back on. So whilst he's doing that, I'm just going to show you the difference side by side. Old wheel, new wheel. Out with the old, in with the new. Let's shove it in as we insert it. Yep. Oh. Come on, James, you don't need to clean the floor. Well, we're going to get it all over the tyre, aren't we? Well, it makes for a more interesting ride. Okay. We don't recommend that you do that, of course. Now. It was too big. Very pleasing, some people, isn't it? Come on, 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 come on,
Are you sure this wheel's the same bloody width? No. Because there's not enough room to get that spacer and the caliper in. See that extra lump on that yeah, side? Yeah, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. But let's just take it out and measure, just to see. And if it is, then it clearly has to go in somehow. If it doesn't, look, I can see it. That's why I said, take it out and measure it. We'll measure hub to hub. We don't need to, I can see what needs to come off. It's that big lump on that side. Right, from side to side, that is 13 and a half. No, 14, 13 and a half. So on the inside of the disc to the inside of the doodle, isn't it? That's there to there. So there to there is 13 and a half. Exactly the same width. And why doesn't it fit? I don't know. Stress, it's quite funny. It's not, I hate getting stressed. Yeah, but it's amusing. Maybe for you. Oh, I've got oily hands and my trousers are halfway down my arse. I don't like this. How are you getting home? In huh? the car or on the bike? On the bike. I'll just do it down here on your shins. Not on my shins, your shins. No, it's hanging down my arse. What's that going to do? Because you can wipe the oil off. I'm not doing that. Oh. Because we have this here. Well, use that then. Honestly. Jeez. You might like to get your dirt. Dirty. I don't like getting dirty. I don't even like these eight things. Yay! That looks odd. <laughs> that wheel on the back and that on the front. However, we have a 17 inch wheel to go on the front. Ta da! Has it got oil seals in it? Uh, yes, it has. Hmm. Let's check we don't need those then. Uh, no, they've got them in on this one. Have they? Yeah. Okay, so just topping up the uh, brake fluid and then we shall make sure the brakes work. Before we do, put the cap on, otherwise it'll just come spin flying out. Everywhere. Okay, give it a good spin. You're not going to put the cap on? No, no. Bam! Yay! Yeah. Brakes and everything. Does it go again after we've let the rear brake off? Yay! Yeah. Brilliant. Old one. Oh, well, you can't see that actually, don't you? There you go. Brilliant. Bang it on, shall we? Okay, so we are done for now. Now, we can't really do the rear spring because they sent the wrong one, but it's still okay anyway. Look, the wheels are on and it's nice and bouncy. So it's time to test it out. Disclaimer alert. Serious face, zoom in on the face. Serious. Disclaimer, we are aware that we are not wearing protective clothing. Do not try this at home. At all. We are not professionals. We are two idiots, and if we injure ourselves, it's our own fault. 
So, without further ado, let us get on the bike and ride over some pallets. Are you ready? monstrosity we've created. It's nothing special, but it's going to be fun, I reckon. brings us to the end of this episode of Motors for the Masses. Malcolm is too chicken to go on the pallet ramp. I am. I, however, like a good laugh. So, if you enjoyed this, please click like. If you didn't enjoy it, well, never mind. Can't please everyone. Um, next time, we'll be back with more bike reviews. We'll be back with Project Mac and all the other gubbins that we always say. And until next time, please ride and drive carefully. But have fun. Ah! That goes backwards, all right?